Hola estudiantes de Español 2. Uh, this lecture is about episodio 11 and this is uh, week 5, lecture 2. We're going to talk about uh, the verb to know, which in English we have one verb, but in Spanish we have two verbs. And these are not interchangeable, but this will vary um, which one you have to use correctly based on context. Uh, we have saber, uh, and this basically you use for uh, knowledge. Um, so facts, information, how to do something, or when you know something by heart. <clears throat> to know also means conocer, and this is uh, kind of like to be familiar with people, places, or things. So to be familiar, okay? Um, it depends on the context which verb you will have to use. Okay, so I actually... Um, we are going to download this handout and it, there's two parts to it. There's a front and a back. Um, so this is a front part. And basically what we're doing is we're going to conjugate the verb saber y conocer um, correctly. And then you will do your best using the rules um, and complete the correct yo, uh, conjugated form, put it in the blank. And I will actually post the answers on Friday for this. Okay, um, ignore this, but if you go through the saber um, stuff in the book, there's a question about, do you know all the uh, Central American um, place uh, countries? So I went ahead and put that in there if you're interested, and there's like a little way to remember all of them. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to talk about object pronouns with two verbs, okay? Um, and go ahead and look at this first. This is just like the rule, um, in an expression with a conjugated and an infinitive verb, you may place the object pronoun in two different places. Okay. So you can do it before the first verb or attach it to the second verb. So, um, if it's one verb, there's one rule, but if there's two verbs, um, you have two options. So just try to think of that way. <clears throat> um, here we have this, you have to help me, right? Uh, me tienes que ayudar. So we have me, uh, you have to help me, me tienes que ayudar, or you can say tienes que ayudarme. So notice where the me goes. It can be before the first verb or it can be attached. So notice there's no space at the end of the second verb, right? Uh, no va a invitarme a salir otra vez. Uh, so no va a invitarme. Notice this is all together. It's literally an infinitive with the attachment of the object pronoun, or we can say no me va, so before the first verb, a invitar a salir otra vez. Uh, take a look at this one. Juan prefiere hablarlo. Okay. Juan lo prefiere hablar. We don't know what it is, but you can attach it to the second verb or you can put it before the second, before the first verb. Okay. So let's look at some examples. <clears throat> and uh, this is just a visual representation of the stuff we've talked about so what you guys know subject pronouns already you're very familiar you've used them a lot for conjugation and these are very important then we have the object pronouns we talked about them in the previous uh, lecture uh, me the and so on and these are the direct object pronouns um, so one of the questions that i get a lot from students uh, would be like what's the difference between me and me and ti and te well there is the difference um, we will be using these for the upcoming lecture and the exercises after. Okay, so if you downloaded the Saber Conocer worksheet on the back, this is um, more exercises and um, this is going to guide you for more practice for the, previous, for the past lecture and this current lecture. Um, <clears throat> you basically just have to... Um, use the objects of prepositions. So you will have to look at this part of the table here. 
and then you want to use direct object pronouns. So um, this is you purely um, practicing the object pronoun, okay? Um, and these are two sentences, so they want the book. So we're talking about the book, right? So um, plural, singular, lo, las, yada, yeah. You can do this. Um, and I will actually post the answers for both of the front and back of this sheet on Friday. Um, and we'll also be holding some quick meetings just in case you have more questions or you need more explanations. Okay, so feel free to look at this while you're working on this. Um, you can also look at the book, okay? Uh, this is just extra practice. It's not in the book. I don't want to make it a graded practice just because I feel like it might be too much. Uh, but this will really, really help you and benefit you. Okay, so this is a lecture two assignment. Uh, make sure you complete this handout. It's going to help you a lot. And then um, you can also look at page 287 and page 293. This is uh, Episodio 12. So we're working on Episodio 11 today and this week, week five. Uh, but this is essentially the same material. Um, it's just a little bit more vocabulary. So that's that. Also, we'll be talking about numbers and jobs and occupations next week. So please brush up on your numbers because that's going to come up. And that's it. Thank you for watching.